Hi guys, gals, and non-binary pals, it is Shamey Shay here today, and as requested, I did the things you'd hear in the Hufflepuff common room, 3am edition. I am really sorry it took so long. I've just been really busy, but I hope you guys enjoy the video. And as always, happy birthday. I'm so proud that Cedric got into the Goblet of Fire. Hufflepuffs barely ever get any recognition. I'm just really happy for him. Hey, I know it's really early, but you fell asleep in here, so I wanted to lead you back to your, to your common room. Hey, I don't want you to get in trouble, and if you do, we can get in trouble together. Come on, come on, get up, get up. Come on, it's okay. We'll try to sneak, and if we get in trouble, I'll take the blame too. Come on. I mean, I hate to pick favorites, but if I had to pick a favorite Gryffindor, it would be Neville. But I don't know what it is. I just, I have so much respect for that guy. I'm sorry I lied to you. I just, I really liked those cookies. You had the cookies the whole time? You've been snuggling them? How could you? I love you. I am not in love with Slytherin. <laughs> I didn't fool you, did I? Not the Forbidden Forest. Okay, I've been trying to ignore it this entire time, but you were so pretty. No, I didn't think she was gonna cheat. I mean, I know she's in Slytherin, but I like to trust my Slytherin friends. I always try to stay in touch with the muggle world. I mean, I, I'm just so fascinated by it. But at the same time, I wonder, like, how do they not know about us? We know about them. But why do we have to be such a secret? I don't like keeping secrets from people. It just makes me feel like gross you know am i the only one confused on why slytherin and gryffindor still hate each other like no 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 no. think about it they could be the most powerful duo you got the brave one and then you got the one who says everything that you know you're thinking of but like you shouldn't say i call them forbidden thoughts because we all know that we shouldn't kill that guy but then slytherin just comes right out and they're like we gotta kill that guy and we're like now that you say it and it wasn't me who said it. I kind of agree with you. Can you guys go back to bed? And cuddle me in the meantime. Oh, please sleep. I'm tired. You guys have been talking for hours. What do you mean we have a quiz tomorrow? Oh, no. It's too late to study now. It's too late. <laughs> We gotta focus on ourselves, and sometimes, I think, wing it, you know? Thus tonight, I'm going to bed. It's it's too early. If I had to open a howler in the Great Hall, I think I'd actually sob. As bad as this sounds, I look up to Fred and George. They're really funny, and honestly, Umbridge totally deserved what she had coming to her. I'ma say it. I'ma say it for all of you, cause I know we are all thinking the same thing here. Even those of us who are sleeping. I just don't understand how there's like a dog person or a cat person. Like how can you pick one? On one hand, you have a fluffy creature who loves you and makes a vibrating noise with their neck. And on the other hand, you have this precious pair of loyal eyes. I love them both way, way too much. I mean, I don't think all Slytherins are evil. I think like over half of them are just extremely misunderstood. And I get it. I really, really, really get it. I misunderstand things all the time too. <laughs> 